Okay, hi. I want to show you a little experiment uh, by using the idea that Mike had about um, using meshes over other meshes. So, in the next beta, you will see that uh, the new smart warp uh, will work with um, vector layers too. So, here's the idea. I have this fish here and I have a mesh for the fish so you can see this is a normal mesh so I can distort that manually but I made that the mesh uh, follow this path on this other layer so the fish I mean the mesh the points of the mesh of the of the fish will follow this this path so I have the path I have the mesh which is a vector layer and I have that vector layer following this path and that will will make that the fish will follow the path okay so I have the the fish layer I have the mesh for this for the uh, fish layer and then I have the path to control the movement uh, of the of the mesh of the fish but also, I have the fish bowl here. So this mesh is distorting the mesh of the fish. So if I open the layer properties of the mesh of the fish, you can see the smart warp layer use, using this is the mesh fish bowl. Okay? So, what we what this will make is that um, I will put my I'm sorry I, I am spoiling the animation but the idea here is this uh, you can see the the mesh of the fish is following the path so the fish looks uh, like it it is moving and distorting but also this mesh is being distorted by the the mesh of the bowl so you can see how this mesh moves to be bigger or smaller so if I make this bigger probably the, the fish will be closer to the camera and if I make this smaller the fish will be uh, further away from, from the camera so I have all these Combine it and I have this animation so when I, I am not seeing the mesh uh, it looks like this ah and also I have another mesh but this is a simple mesh I have the mesh for the water so it is affecting the image layer of the fishbowl but I am only animating these points here so I have a little effect for the water it, it is a little um wavy effect i mean I, I animated that by hand you can see the cycle here um but well that's the idea so here is the final animation of course it is not perfect uh there are some things that i haven't solved yet for example the fish you can see um it is not swimming um, in the right way in some in some parts for example here when he turns um, um, let me see here he's actually swimming um, pointing down instead of pointing up I, I don't know how to say that in English but you can see he's not swimming in, a, in the normal way but I am sure we will have some ideas to fix all that. Um, I am not using bones for the fish. I could control the movement of the fish also by using bones, but I prefer to use use the the um, the follow path tool because it was easier to animate. But well, that's the idea. I hope. You enjoy this and I hope to see um, all your ideas about this cool new feature, okay?
Thank you for watching. Bye.